guys good evening so thank god it's friday and uh, i'm really thankful for uh, i'm really thankful for uh, pageantology 101 for having me tonight so when they ask me if i can grace their platform i immediately i'm said danica yes, madrid reynes and i am representing Cagayan province in the first ever Miss Universe Philippines. So I'm really happy um, because pageantology gave me the opportunity to have this exposure, of course, especially um, in this time. Um, the competition is getting near and um, I really accepted this um, chance. I really took this chance because I think this is the best time to also promote my code in our upcoming Ring Martinez. light series. First ever uh, question. Wow. Are pageants still relevant, especially during these times of pandemic? Thank you. I'm actually grateful because um, Miss Universe Philippines pushed through um, amidst the pandemic. I'm glad to be part of an organization that helps other people because this pageant is for a cause. Um, we have upcoming online um, series called Ring Light and um, since I'm from Cagayan Province, my code is RL Cagayan Province and please use my code to avail our series because every time you use my code RL Cagayan Province, a portion of that will go to my beneficiary. So this Miss Universe pageant is for a cause. And I think this is why it's relevant, especially in this time of pandemic, because all the more that we should continue, all the more that we should reach out to other people. And I think this is the very purpose of Miss Universe Philippines. Um, it has become a symbol of hope for this pandemic, because of course, um, even though there is pandemic, life should still go on. And um, with Miss Universe Philippines pushing through, it, I think it has restored humanity in all of us. And um, I hope you guys will uh, subscribe to empire.ph. Okay, so click subscribe. Um, early bird promo is 249 pesos. Hi, good evening. Here's my question. If ignorance is bliss, why do we seek knowledge? I think um, what I understood from here is that what we don't know cannot hurt us right but of course we as humans we we stay curious in life and i think the only not the only but one of the ways to move forward in life is to stay curious and sometimes when we found out about some things when we discover some things um of course some some truth hurt us and that's why sometimes we still keep on seeking things and okay okay there's another question. Yeah, and that's why we seek on um, learning, but sometimes what we don't know um, won't hurt us. But I think that when you take a risk, when you try to discover, um, that's when growth comes. From Lucky Spencer, ano po yung pictures sa likod nyo? So guys, welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> These are photos from all my travels. Um, as some of you might know, I'm a former overseas Filipino worker as an international flight attendant based in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And of course, um, so these are perks of traveling and I always like to have them uh, printed out and post them on my wall to remind me of all the places I've been to to humble me. Um, and of course, nowadays in social media, you know, we don't get to print photos anymore. We just keep uploading them online. And I think it's still important that, you know, we have memories with us like this, something that you can touch, something that you can see, because this one serves as my vision board, vision wall rather. So to attract um, positivity, it's like my law of attraction wall. <laughs> Ayan, nasipa ko yung Tripod. How do you start? Okay, how did I start in pageantry? Actually, I just started um, in school when I was still in in USD. Um, of course, we had a pageant there. Um, 
mystery and miscommunication art. So that's when it all started. Um, and then, nag upgrade na naman upgrade after university, of course, uh, Motianing Angeles. And uh, of course, I got the Motianing Angeles um, tourism crown. And if you're wondering why in Angeles, uh, because kapangpangan ang aking daddy. Ayan. So, uh, my father is from Angeles and my mom is from Cagayan province. So, but this time I am, uh, I want to give tribute to my um, grandparents from Cagayan who are now in heaven, of course, uh, watching over us. So, that's why I'm representing um, Cagayan province. Yes. So, so that's when I started. And, and then um, when I uh, left abroad, and went back to Philippines. That's when I um, joined Miss World Philippines in 2018. Um, trained um, by Aces and Queens, of course. Hello sa mga mamas. And then, um, we landed at uh, top 16 semifinals and um, got the Best in Talent Award. And then two years after, here we are in 2020, Miss Universe Philippines. So, actually, this this time I didn't really expect to join the national pageant because um, I thought 2018 was my last because of age. But God works in mysterious ways, and here I am. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. I have a simple question. Um, <laughs> this is so funny. Kung may isa kang natitirang ipin, san mo to ilalagay sa harap? O sa bagang. Bagang likod, di ba? Tama ba? Bagang is likod ba? Tama ba yun? <laughs> so, kung may isa po akong natitirang ngipin, um, ilalagay ko na lang siya sa harap. <laughs> Para at least pag kumakain ako, um, makain ko siya ng Ayan. mabuti. <laughs> From Brooke Lee, can you tell us your ad advocacy? Yes, of course. Um, I really promote, I really uphold music and arts therapy. As I've mentioned a while ago, I'm a singer-performer. And um, this one started actually uh, when I joined uh, World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, California, USA. That was in 2013. And I was um, one of the Team Philippines who represented the country in vocal category. So it's like the Olympics for talent. It's the same competition uh, Mr. Jed Madela joined. So um, I was still studying in UST when I joined the competition, but uh, I grabbed the opportunity anyways. And um, from then on, um, because I was really active in, in music industry and entertainment industry, I think that's when uh, my my passion for, for upholding music and arts therapy started. So, especially at this time of pandemic, unsettling times, we need something to hold on to. So, in my advocacy music and arts therapy, I wish and uh, I would like to send a message to everyone to use their talents, their skills, um, and hold on to that because that will help boost our morale especially we need to take care of our mental health in this time of pandemic and music and arts therapy empowers the youth as well um, when they stick to their talent it's something really close to my heart because i am a performer and growing up it also helped me stay on the right path of life so i hope that um you guys um you guys uh, will share this advocacy as well. And if you have Rez any questions, please see Tama ba pronunciation. Why, why should you win Miss Universe Philippines 2020? Actually, this is um, being watched all the time. Uh, being watched all the time. Being asked all the time. Um, as a former overseas Filipino worker, um, as an international flight attendant based in uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, of course, um, I have learned a lot. Um, I have met people from different walks of life. And I have learned the whys and the hows of, of different cultures and religion. And it made me see life through the eyes. And I wanted to use those experiences in my Miss Universe Philippines to assess where I can 
help where I can be able to reach out more to a lot of people because it's always been my dream to live a life of of purpose to others um, I mean I, I have these talents but I think that these ta talents don't mean anything if if it's not of good use to other people so I really want to be purposeful um, just like my parents who were sent on a medical mission but in my own way and I hope that um, in Miss Universe Philippines I hope that um, they will see that they will see that potential and I hope that with this especially in this time of pandemic um, I hope that I'll get to be help to a lot of people so thank you yeah, for from that Bangkok, question Thailand do you think it's necessary to put a gap between the rich and the poor I, I think um, this is actually one of the problems of our, our country that we have a huge gap between the rich and the poor and I just hope that the government will um, find more ways to bridge that gap like if they cater more government policies for the mass which is the one in between I think if they cater um, services for them it will bridge the gap between the rich and the poor so this is something um, that may be challenging in our country up until now but it's not something impossible shout out to Marvin Javier how can you help our fellow Filipino during this time of COVID crisis oh this is very um, relevant to um, my last campaign uh, recently I initiated an online fundraiser campaign for frontliners so I really have a close friend who is a frontliner and uh, I asked him how I can help him and his uh, medical colleagues um, they are medical frontliners in PGH so I started this fundraiser campaign at gogetfunding.com slash love in the time of corona and um, people just started sending funds and I'm really happy because those funds directly go to them to provide them with personal protective equipment as they are still in dire need and they are our modern day heroes so I think that we deserve to protect them um, even though we are at home we can help them in um, we can help them using digital platforms so that's what I did especially during the lockdown because I couldn't go out and um, when I was thinking of ways to help, that's the first thing that come to my mind. So I hope that um, that inspired other people as well. If you are given a chance to remove one word in the dictionary, what would it be and why? I want to remove hate from the dictionary. Because I think that if we remove hate, not just in the dictionary, but also in our lives, then I think that we can be a society that moves forward in all ways. Lubon, when is the coronation night? So guys, our finals night on October 25.